There is someone in my collective who is trying to decide if they should reconnect with their family for the holiday weekend, okay? They have been going back and forth about this decision. Um, they have even went to God, asked God to order their steps, but they just don't know what direction he leading them in, okay? Because one minute, they're like, no, I don't want to go and be around my family. And then the next minute, they're like, maybe I should go and be around my family. They're very indecisive. So Holy Spirit, they need some guidance and direction on this Easter Sunday, your day, okay? I do believe in Jesus. If anybody was wondering, I do. Jesus is a prophet to me. Jesus is just, I don't know. When I was in governor's school, a poet came and she performed a poem she did about Jesus and his relationship with Mary Magdalene and how Jesus is so humble. Jesus was so non-judgmental that he married a prostitute. That was what the poem was about. I was 16 when I heard that. I already had a, a connection with God, but I was in a sorted place in my life at that time. And I just remember hearing that poem about Jesus and how much he loved Mary Magdalene. Okay, so this is a feminine we talking about. This feminine has been judged by her family for things that she's done in the past. And she's been mistreated by her family for things that she's done in the past. Okay? Things that at times were not under her control, that she was a victim instead of the person doing what was happening. This is what I'm getting. Y'all better rock with me on this good Sunday, okay? But um, she's changed her life. She's healed. I'm talking about a divine feminine here. She's put a lot of her past behind her, and her family seemingly has done the same, but she doesn't feel like she's received the level of apology that she deserves. This is why she's she's not sure she wants to break bread with them because they were judgmental. They were hateful towards her. You know, they were not there for her in her time of need. Of need. So Holy Spirit, okay. We got the King of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. So this literally, literally, because I know how to read my cards. I don't do no speed reading. That shit just come to me quicker than it come to others at times, you know? It is what it is. But this is exactly what I said, okay? At times, because of decisions and mistakes that she's made in her past, she's been in need. She's needed help. And her family has been in position to help her with this King of Pentacles. They are abundant, okay? But they had her begging, crawling on her knees, groveling for the help. 333 was just on the phone, too. For the help and the comfort and the support that she needed from them with the Six of Pentacles because of these past mistakes and decisions that she made, she has made, okay? With this Knight of Wands here. That's exactly what I damn just said. <clears throat> what else, Holy Spirit? But see, nobody is perfect. P people have done all kinds of things with this King of Wands here, okay? And this is her energy because the beauty about her is that she has been able to fight through her trauma, fight through her mistakes, you know, accept her consequences and move forward and make a better life for herself. You know, all of what she's done into, in the dark has come to light for her. You know, that's her testimony. There ain't no skeletons in her closet. She's put an end to those types of behaviors. Okay? And this is why she has evolved with this Queen of Wands energy. I'm telling y'all, this woman is not who she used to be persecuted for. She's put an ending to that. She put in work to be a better woman, to evolve into a divine feminine. Okay? Because... With this king and queen of wands energy, it just 
it just speaks volumes to how strong and tenacious she is, how beautiful of a, of a person she is. People do admire this woman. At times, though, they did not respect her. And I feel like they are in regret about that with this Five of Cups because they're realizing now, since she has healed and evolved and moved on from her past, that she is indeed a divine being. There is something special about this woman, okay? This has caused a tower for them. So now they're trying to make amends. But I'm getting that they're not, They no one has said, we are sorry for how we treated you. That ain't came out nobody's mouth. I can't make it up with this page of cups. We ain't heard no apology yet, okay? And this is her problem, 555 on the phone. Because she can't quite forget the devilish, toxic, manipulative ways that she was treated. The evil ways that her family treated her at times. Because of the, excuse me, honey, see what I'm saying? Of the fogginess that was in her mind of times when things seemed one way, but they really weren't that way. But nobody came to her aid or asked her, was she okay? All right, with this seven of cups here, this devil in this seven of cups just gives me that at times people probably thought she was had some type of addiction issues, like maybe she was on drugs, that she was doing some things, you know, that she wasn't supposed to be doing. But what I'm getting here is that that ain't wasn't the case. That was what they felt and believed, but that wasn't always what it was. That's what I'm hearing. <clears throat> I feel like people lied and said things about her. Obsessive, addictive, very toxic things about this woman. So now that she's shining like an ace of pentacles, like that shit don't even make sense. Is this even the same woman that we were persecuting? Okay. Because she went off and started a passionate new beginning, beginning for herself. Excuse me. And she has been very, very abundant. Because that's what was trying to come out. I was trying to say beginning and, was, and abundance was trying to tumble out my mouth. Because that's how abundant this woman is. Because she turned her back to people, places, and things that wanted to hold her past against her. And she moved to, towards that rainbow. And honey, I'm telling you, this woman then found a pot, the pot of gold at the end of that rainbow, child. All right, now I'm getting that heavy. Fuck what you heard. Fuck what they talking about. Okay, 808 on the phone. And that's a money number, look it up. All right. And that's why I feel like they trying to make amends with this nine of wands, okay? See, she ain't got no apology. It came out. These people ain't gave her no apology yet. They just trying to be cool with her. And I was about to say again, but they ain't never even really been cool with her. This family, okay, like I said, they ain't never been really cool with her with this five of wands. That shit hit and miss. That shit sporadic as hell, okay? She knows the truth. She got enough sense to know that she deserves an apology, but she ain't going to get it. They're going to skip right over it, and that just speaks levels to their morals, their values, their true character when it comes to this divine feminine. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I am picking up on one specific feminine, but I'm I'm picking up also on a masculine who may be going through the same thing. That's why this king and this queen of wands came out here. Okay? So it's it's divine feminines and divine masculines that's that's trying to decide and debate child on this Easter Sunday if they gonna go fuck with a family that's just stabbed them in the back ten times or more. Okay? Or they just gonna remain and they abundant nine of pentacles energy off wherever they at elsewhere and remain independent from that past energy because I'm telling you it's about this person's abundance 
That's what it's about. It's about the fact that this person, all these things, this is this is the energy that they tried to put on this woman and this man, okay? But that shit got cut, 10, 10 on the phone. And so they looking foolish almost to people because this person is very abundant. I'm telling you, we got the Ace of Pentacles out here. We got the Nine of Pentacles, <clears throat> we got the Eight of Pentacles, and we got the Queen of Pentacles. This is this Divine Feminine energy in particular that I'm picking up on. She went through her that battle, okay? She won that war that way, okay? And she went over here, look, with this, damn, with this Ten of Wands, she went over there and she put in work to make herself a better person and to have a better life, to not be going through all of these struggles, the Six of Pentacles energy that she was experiencing because of this decision she made in the past. This woman is celebrating now, okay? Her life ain't out of whack. Maybe her 11-11 on the phone, maybe her people's lives is out of whack. I don't feel like she knows really what's going on with them. <clears throat> but it's like with this Three of Cups, and this two of pentacles, it's like they want to celebrate with her because their life is out of whack. Like her positive energy somehow can get things balanced for them. But the Holy Spirit is saying you need to have your guard up to celebrate with these people because look at this card. You're going to be disappointed, child. I'm telling you right now. In the moment, it might seem like it's a cool thing to do, but you see the disappointment on this woman's face. That set, that foundation is still the same. It has still got the same bricks, the same cement block underneath it. That foundation ain't changed. You want to go over there and celebrate with people and this family energy. This literally seven of wands and this four of wands literally says. Literally, we, we all literally today, 1221 on the phone. This literally says, protect yourself, set boundaries to family. This uh, four of wands is, is a celebratory card, but it also talks about family, traditions, like going and eating Sunday dinner on Easter, family, okay? This is literally saying, have your guard up to these traditions this foundation that you're considering reconnecting with. I'm telling you, because with this devil and the seven of cups, I almost want to put it off to the side by itself, child, and I am. Because that ain't, your, that, that ain't, even when you was having problems, okay? My throat chakra is acting up, because I'm telling y'all, I've been channeling some energy here, and I do appreciate y'all tapping in. Please continue to hit that like button for me it's really making a difference in the level of messages that i get out the variety for sure okay um but this devil and the seven of cups energy even when you did make mistakes 1331 on the phone when i look back at the phone even when you did things that were considered out of character it still was not as bad as these people tried to make you seem. These people tried to make you seem like you was a whole succubus, devil, evil, evil possessed, whole druggy energy. That's what I got. That's why I had to, my, you know, I had to pause. I can't play the devil's advocate on this good Sunday and ain't going to do it, okay? I ain't going to do it. These people dog you the fuck out. Your own family. Dogged you the fuck out and still talking shit about you. That's what I just damn heard. 1414 on the phone. Still talking shit about you, but got the nerve to want you to come break bread with them. Now, y'all already know the Last Supper, Jesus sitting around the table. He know these motherfuckers ain't no good. He know. He know. But he still chose to break bread with him. But what did they do? They ultimately sacrificed him. Now, do you want to go get sacrificed? 1441 on the phone. That's what the hell I just heard, y'all. So this mess, somebody need to hear this this morning because I was asleep. I'm tired of this now. <laughs> but I'm being obedient. And I'm telling you, God been telling you. 
That's why you keep going back and forth because you're initially already knowing that you shouldn't even be fucking with it. Okay? You know you shouldn't be fucking with it. But you do have a good heart. You are a good person. You are a divine being. You feeling these people's energy. 15, 15 on the phone. They look slow to people because they did dog you the fuck out. And I'm telling you, you balling. I don't know what you're doing right now, but whatever you decide to put work into, whatever seeds you sow, you are reaping a hefty harvest and some, okay? <clears throat> so with this seven of wands and this four of wands right behind that, the Holy Spirit on this table is saying that that ain't the way you should go today, okay? I'm just keeping it a buck with you. Because, no, you still have not received an apology. Look at this. With this five of swords and this strength card, these people they ain't still fucking with you like that. They not. And I, that's why they say blood ain't thicker than water. Because it ain't. It ain't. I don't care. It ain't. I mean, I don't know what to tell y'all, but it ain't. With this five of swords and this strength card, these people don't like you. They, they, they not fucking with you still, but they're being persistent to try to pull you back into their loop because you didn't prove them wrong. You done made them look silly and foolish. So when you moved on to calmer waters, okay, and you bossed up, you stopped fighting that battle in that direction. You moved in another direction, and God bless you for it, putting in the work. I'm telling you, you evolved from this Queen of Wands, King of Wands, to this Ace of Pentacles, and they see that. And they still hoping that they can pull on your heartstrings with this Queen of Cups card. They, they hoping that they can make you change your mind. Because, see, they can see you bossing up, living it up, okay? 17, 17 on the phone. And the traditional card, Two of Wands card, y'all already know. If you look up the definition of the card. I promise you, in that description, it's going to speak of how this person can, is looking and viewing someone else's life or a life that they wish they could have for themselves. Meanwhile, their actual life is starting to unravel around them. And this is the energy of your family that wants you to come break bread with them. They want some of your energy, honey. You, you got too many energetic cards out here that shows that your vibes are positive. Your vibes are good. Your vibes are, are able to transmute the negative into the positive. With this four of swords, I feel like they they realize that. They have they have to admit that there is something special about you. I feel like they've always known something was special about you, but they didn't want to readily admit it, which is why they they harped on this hate. They, they, shit, they was the conductors of the hate train. Okay? Because I never get why family go out to strangers and talk shit about their own family members. Especially parents, because my thing is, you do know that you created this person that you talking all this shit about, right? So if they fucked up in your eyes, then you basically saying you fucked up. Because you, you created this person. I, I do view it that way. Now, we ultimately can't be responsible for crazy, mark-ass decisions people make with their lives. That's not the parents' fault. But the, the shit that these people were saying about this woman, her family, that shit wasn't even warranted, y'all. I don't know what the fuck was going on with them. But they played themselves because this woman, it's not, it was just 1919 on the phone when I said that. Yes, they did. Because this woman's shining right now. God is blessing her for a reason. She, she can't be that fucked up. Okay? She can't be that out of whack. She can't be that much on drugs or a whore or all this. I mean, I was picking up. Did they call this woman a prostitute? Said she was on drugs. That she be doing illegal stuff for money. All kind of crazy shit. Her family, child. Talking about her like a fucking dog. Then they want to break bread with her. 
That's why you going back and forth because you know you shouldn't be fooling with these people. Any other messages, Holy Spirit, anything else? But what I was getting with this four swords, y'all, look, it's been illuminated to them that you are some form of energy source. You have the ability to transmute negative situations into positive ones, and you did that with your life. You know, you they can see that. And I feel like they're hoping that your energy 2022 on the phone will balance things in their life, will allow them to have a rebirth of some kind. Your presence, you interacting with them, you being cool with them again. Well, I, like, again, I don't really feel like you was ever cool with them. I feel like you tried to. You were stuck in that loop for a while of trying to make amends, trying to make these people love you, trying to make them accept you. Okay, but you, you cut those cords. So why are you trying to sew them back together? That's the vibe here. You cut those cords. This is on the bottom. You passed judgment. You decided that these people did not care for you, period. Shit, ain't no other way else to say it. They didn't. They treated you like shit. And you're hoping 2112 on the phone that if you come back down this road, go back down that road with them, that things are going to be different because you're different. But the point of the matter is, it is that they ain't different. That's what you got to understand. Because if they truly had changed, why haven't they apologized? Why haven't they tried to make amends the correct way instead of moving on past things and acting like they were not putting you in this energy out to the world? I'm getting that. These people, these people tried to like disown you at different points in your life. Talk shit about you to people. I mean, it's crazy what I picked up on off this energy. That's why I had to sit it over there to the side. Again, I'm not finna get into all the details of the things that I heard. But I wouldn't be fucking with these people if they was out here doing me like that. All right. I mean, you know what time it is. That's why you left this energy behind and you went and bossed up and you've been very satisfied two, 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 with how you balanced your life. God is as well. But I don't, I don't, I don't recommend that's whoever I'm talking to. You don't know if this is your story, if this resonates with you, if this is your situation you dealing with, but I don't recommend honey. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? I feel like you almost might be like cursing yourself. Not, oh, I didn't mean to say curse. Maybe I did mean to say cursing yourself because I feel like God blessed you when you removed yourself from people who really did not fuck with you. But if you go back down that road, it's like you telling God, well, I don't care that these people really don't fuck with me. No, they haven't apologized and truly made amends the right way, but I'm going to still go back down here fucking with them anyway. I'm going to give them yet another chance to burn me. That's what you're saying. Okay, you're going to go back down. This was just sitting here like this. And I'm just a talking, looking at the camera. <laughs> but you're going to, are you going, are you willing to take that chance and collaborate with these people again who have had you in such fucked up ass energy, dog? This is whack and lame as hell. Why do people hate on a family like this? I, I don't know. And I'm telling you, I'm still getting that even as much as you've accomplished and how abundant you are and how well you're doing, even now, child, some of these family members is still talking shit about you. You need to know that that needs to be the truth of that needs to be known out here. OK, they still making comments and remarks. And got group chats that you ain't a part of talking shit about you. You better know it with this high priestess. Okay, you better act like you know. You know what time it is. You tapped in. You know these people ain't fucking with you like that. Child, boo. These people is not fucking with you like that. They just want the world. These people, they talked all that shit to. to they don't want to look like no fools to these people no more. 2442 on the phone. So they, they trying to make amends with you and bring you back around and make it seem like y'all all good and everything cool. So they ain't looking too foolish to these, these outsiders who they shunned you 
with. Okay? That's what I'm getting here. You better act like you know. With this hermit card, before you go rushing in, you better you better get some more insight and clarification. Cause you already got justice in this situation when you moved on. Okay. That's why God got you in the Ten of Pentacles right now. He ain't have you in the Ten of Pentacles, though, when you was back there making love offers to these people in your past. Okay? Your ass was in the Four of Pentacles struggling. And please remember, yo, you was hemmed up plenty of times. But did these motherfuckers come to your rescue? Yes, that's what I called them. No, they did not. All right? They left you out there on your own to have to take risk and hope that you will have positive outcomes. So that's why you walked away. Don't forget. Don't forget how these people refused your love. Probably wouldn't even come to your house when you was around. Now they want you to come to their house and like everything is good and have relationships with them, with this two of cups. Please know that it's only because the will of fortune is in your favor. And they upset about that because like I said, these people cut you down, talked all kind of shit about you any chance they could get. But in reality, the truth of the matter is, is that you are everything that they tried to make you not seem to be. Okay? You ain't a prostitute. You ain't a whore. You ain't no scam artist. You ain't broke. Okay? You ain't on drugs. You ain't out here doing anything wrong. You ain't fucking around like that, and they can see that. They've got enough insight, intelligence, screenshots, whatever the fuck, to let them know that the will of fortune is indeed in your favor, that you made magic in your life. You manifested the things that they wouldn't give you. You got them for yourself. Them, that's that energy that they could have, those times when they could have helped you, they did not help you. I'm picking that up heavy. And it wasn't because you had done something wrong. You had fallen on hard times. And these people shunned you for it. And they came out as the king of pentacles in the beginning. So they had the funds and the abilities to help you. But they preferred to have you on your knees groveling and begging for a few pennies. And this is why God bossed you up. So no, God ain't saying to go back to people who had you in this energy and treated you kicked you when you was down literally these people kick you when you were down okay and the holy spirit says that's the truth what choice are you going to make okay with this lover's card here the choice is ultimately your ultimately yours but you see what the energy is out here so what choice are you going to make okay I hope this message helps somebody today in particular, but this is a timeless message. This can be applied to any point in your life when you're dealing with a situation like this. So I do hope this helps someone, but always remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly, y'all. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.